Greetings, this is Eduardo Jumbo. You can build GUI for desktop application using Python and Tkinter. Tkinter comes bundled with Python version 3 on Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. Tkinter needs to be imported as a module to create a GUI application main window. Tkinter may be used for the future desktop only version of learning PHP ebook. This tutorial will create a simple multi platform GUI application that can be used as a starting template. To follow along, you will need Python 3 installed and an optional text editor to create code. I'll be using Guinea as my text editor. The Python file will will be created and saved as GUI.py. So first thing we'll do is we'll import the module. Next, we'll create an instance of the class. The variable will be called window, just to keep it simple. And finally, the, we run the main or the run the event loop, window main loop. I can use Guinea to compile and execute. But I'll, I'll, for this time, I will use the command line, but I will use the Guinea later. So to build and run, you just made a spelling mistake there. Simply Python 3, name of the application. As you can see, the window just came up. Now this is not very useful because uh, there is nothing on the window so you obviously would need to most likely you will need to add some widgets so in the original article I have other type of GUI widgets you can use like such as button, label and several others so for this tutorial we'll choose the button entry and label so the reason we created the instance as window is because window will be the parent and all the widgets will be for this particular tutorial they will be added to that window so we'll create a button and its parent is the window that's which is also a widget and then this text will be what is shown on the window so we use the pack to place the button onto the window next for the label it's similar with the exception of instead of button it's label Again, the parent is a window. We give it a value of name just to differentiate from the button. And we pack it as well. Then we have the entry. This is where you can get user input. The entry is slightly different from the label on the button in that it doesn't have a text where you can put the value. Instead, after the parent, the only value it takes is the width. So I made it to the size of 20 and we pack it. Now compile this. I'll use Guinea this time. It 
and there's an error because I used it's case sensitive for the width it should be lower case you can see there's a button there I can click it doesn't doesn't do anything now that's a more advanced tutorial and there's a label there and then I can enter something you can also run this on the command line and again the button works so does the label and the input box find the full article including code snippets and commands at ojumbo.com slash cross hyphen platform hyphen python hyphen desktop hyphen gui hyphen using hyphen kinder if you want to learn php online in a web browser then visit ojumboshop.com slash learning hyphen PHP